How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And how do you find the right VPN for you? Of course, with the oversaturation of VPNs in the VPN market, it can be pretty confusing as to which VPN could be the best choice for you. Now, I've been testing a whole bunch of VPNs, about a couple of dozen VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to these three so that it becomes a much easier selection for you. Now we've got three VPNs here. These are the overall top three VPNs, um, no matter what your VPN need may be. So we've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Now, what you're looking for in a VPN is first of all, a solid no logs policy that doesn't log any of your activity. You're also looking for good speeds. So we're gonna need good protocols for those speeds. You're gonna need streaming and torrenting capabilities. And of course, security features to keep you safe. So let's get through that. Okay, starting with the privacy policy. Now, the privacy policy of all these VPNs is that they don't log anything uh, that can be identified, at least anything that links back to your real IP address, okay? So they all do have that, but we're looking for more than that because most VPNs claim the same thing. The cool thing about these three VPNs is that they have independent audit reports. And what an independent audit report is going to show you, it's, it's pretty much when a third-party company examines or a software or security company examines the VPN provider and they make sure that they're upholding their privacy policy and they have a solid server infrastructure, so on and so forth. And now I'm just showing you one example. All these VPNs have multiple independent audits, but just as an example to show you, um, you know, they do have independent audit reports. So you want to look for that. Second of all, they have very good speeds. Now speeds will vary depending on the server you're connecting to, your own connection, the distance between you and the VPN server, so on and so forth. But overall, these VPNs have great speeds especially if you're using the best protocols available. So that'll be the lightweight UDP protocol with ExpressVPN, the Nordlinks protocol with NordVPN, which is a WireGuard protocol. And with Surfshark here, you're gonna get the WireGuard protocol. It's just called WireGuard, and that's exactly where you're gonna wanna use. Of course, all these VPNs do have uh, plenty of servers. So with ExpressVPN, you have over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, over 5,000 foreign servers in 60 countries with NordVPN, and with Surfshark, finally, you have over 3,200 servers in 65 countries. So it really depends on how much variety you're looking for. Are you looking for a, a high number of servers, or are you looking for a high number of countries, or are you looking for a bit of a balance like Surfshark, you know, with 65 countries or 3,200 servers, kind of in the middle between ExpressVPN and NordVPN. Okay, with regards to peer-to-peer -peer activities and torrenting, you can download to your heart's content. All these servers offer, um, you know, full support for peer-to-peer -peer activities, especially with NordVPN, they straight up have peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers. Okay, in terms of streaming, as you can tell, I'm connected to the New York server here. So with Netflix, it shows as if I'm in the United States. So I do have access to US Netflix. And just to show you guys, this is how you double check, by the way, just what is my IP address. And it will show as if I'm in New York, simply because I'm connected to the New York server. In terms of security features, you have the basic security features with ExpressVPN such as the kill switch and split tunneling. Now the kill switch will kill your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. And split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So let's say I only want my torrenting client and Google Chrome to use the VPN while the rest of my connection is left outside the VPN tunnel you can do that or the other way around, okay? So it's a pretty useful feature. ExpressVPN is pretty bare bones when it comes to features, so that's all you're going to get. It mostly focuses on uh, reliability, consistency, ease of use, privacy, and anonymity. That's what ExpressVPN is all about. If you're looking for something that focuses more on performance and gives you a whole bunch of bonus features, then NordVPN will be a great choice. And finally, Surfshark will be the VPN uh, it's a great budget VPN that just gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without necessarily sacrificing much on security, performance, or features for that matter. So it is a great choice for most people, especially if you want to secure an unlimited number of devices, virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, because NordVPN and ExpressVPN, while well, I would secure a limited number of devices, so five with Express and six with Nord, 
But of course, if you want to secure an unlimited number of devices with these VPNs, you'll need to install a router, whereas Surfshark gives you the option to just share your account with as many friends and family members as you would like, which is pretty neat. And of course, all of that at a, at a very budget friendly price. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you're interested in learning more about these VPNs with regards to everything I talked about today, but in just more detail, you'll find the top three VPNs video. It's a full review of all three VPNs in the description down below. And you'll also find links to pricing discounts if you wanna go straight to that. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.